Charlottesville this morning. We're going to start there with an apartment fire that broke out overnight. Fox 5's Maury Nume is live from the scene with the latest on that. Mo, good morning. Hey, good morning. This is the Bellcrest Plaza Apartments on the 3500 block of Toledo Terrace in Hyattsville. Let me step out of the way and show you what we're seeing here. This is the extent of the fire. From what we understand, it started on the balcony of one of the units here. Uh, residents are telling us that it was an air conditioning unit uh, that sparked the flames that then just spread, destroying uh, multiple units here and all 11 adults, four children displaced. Uh, luckily, none of them injured, uh, but we do understand that two firefighters were injured and uh, taken to the hospital uh, for treatment. So that is what we're hearing now. But the big story amongst residents is that what they're saying their concerns were a lot of them reporting they didn't hear any fire alarms uh, they were awoken by other neighbors who knocked loudly and that's really what got them going many leaving were really just the shirts on their backs they're frustrated they're saying management has not tried to help them uh, we did speak with management that said that they are trying to uh, find apartments for displaced residents but I want to bring in Kevin Ortiz who does not live in this complex but lives across the way and Kevin you were telling us earlier you've been really instrumental in helping uh, your the people that live here at least get some sort of aid in terms of uh, making phone calls to Red Cross, et cetera. But what did you see? What did you hear in terms of the flames as you as you ran across uh, when it all broke out? I live two buildings over in the same complex here, and um, my neighbors came and knocked on my door. And they know that downstairs we have the registered nurse, and we came and rushed over because she's actually very close with the family that lives here. So she was concerned for an elderly woman and her two grandchildren. Um, you saw the flames? What I saw the flames. Like? They were really intense, um, deep shades of orange, and very. the wind was helping it spread because we were having that storm coming in. Maybe if it had not been wind, it would not have spread on the yeah. roof so yeah. quickly. Um, there is another side to this, yeah. and it is just as damaged as yeah. this side, unfortunately. How are you feeling? I know residents are, you know, a lot of them are saying, thank God we're okay, but they're feeling, as, as you might imagine, after a fire, a lot of them are feeling shell-shocked. What do they do now? I know you've been helping them. What are you hearing? What are you seeing in that regard? Um, it took us a moment to get the community going. Uh, me and a couple of the ladies and uh, children were handing out blankets, asking that they need refreshments, water. A lot of folks went out without shoes. It's yeah. a cold morning um, and a long day for volunteers from Red Cross and locals. I appreciate you, Kevin. I know we talked to him earlier. Thanks for your time and thanks for all you're doing out here. Uh, I just have noticed I think a Red Cross uh, volunteer is out here right this morning, so hopefully they can get some residents the help they need. But this is still a developing issue here. Again, residents are displaced and really looking for help. That's the story here. Uh, we'll be on the scene bringing you updates, but again, luckily, none of the residents injured. Right now, it's the story of just making sure that the building is going to be at least able to stand and it's not going to collapse in any sort of way. Uh, but we're monitoring things and uh, we'll bring you updates as they become available. Back to you guys in the studio.